anyone who drinks tea with a plastic cup, it, it is not like I don't have the Kaulo cups. I have them, but I don't know. I just like plastic. It does not matter what you say about them, but I love plastic. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How do I look? See guys, this babe did her hair. You know, he tarorai oneni. See how do I look? Not bad, yeah. <laughs> Baby, I did this hair by my own. Mimi peke angu. Yes, so guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. Ni wa miss na wa penda, guys. Oneni veni menona. See, who? Yeah. Nilitoa family plan. Hata nijipe miezi kama 5, nione kama ndarudi poa sasa, you know? Yeah. So guys, today's topic we are talking about how I broke Yedogo Makizu. Today is topic is about how I broke my like who talks about how they broke their virginity? Ah, me yes, yes, let's talk about it because it was Delson uh, must you disturb me? you here i want you to sit down and take your yummy okay <laughs> or sit there you let mommy make the video okay yes hey guys see you come my video tasha but at any rakisha anyway <laughs> so it happens like this you know for me i have that kind of a map mwenye ni mkali hash street na aliko ule wakusema ni kwa high school you know, I'm the first one, so I'll go there. Ukijaribu kukuchapa kwa nguna mimba, I will kill you. You know? <laughs> yeah, my mom would say that a lot. At that time, I'd guess, because of the stress ya kule wato, yuengi alikuwa, my dad had just died, ako peke yake, alikuwa na stress mingi sana, na alikuwa tu, kidogo hivi, anazitua kwako. So, yeah, because me, I was scared, and I never wanted to disappoint her, and because I love her so much, yeah, I did not want to bring the shame to her. You know, my mom is the kind of a person when you are pending, so it happens like this. You know, I'm young, I'm beautiful, I'm attractive, I'm sexy, blah 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 blah. I'm grow hips, nini nini. I'm a kukatua kuinge na to boys, my eight mates. Mm, older guys, uh, by the way. Uh, Baba, can you stop? So, uh, yeah. for me, I was like, nilikuwa with nilikuwa mtu mwenye, msichana mwenye na mwili kubwa. I had a big body when uh, I'm growing up. Uh, and uh, growing up, when I was yeah, a young girl, a little girl, I had a big body. So, nilikuwa class 8, you could think niko high school. When I was in high school, you could think mimini wakampo, you know, because my body was big, I had huge hips, Mm? Like I'm here. Hmm. Okay. I've suffered growing up because gr grown men like wanaume wakubwa my nini men who are older than me walikuwa nashindwa kinisumbua kindikatia and yet for me um a virgin I don't know these things um a good girl you know <laughs> at school teachers ni wale walikuwa nashindwa kinikatia nini nini like my li all my life I've suffered by the way eh? that's you know nangamia ta siandika angu imakaze kwa sababu men Nimepitia. For me, I was very principled. I, I did not let it get into me until I was in form two. When my dad died, I left from a good school. I went to a just a day boarding school. Yani iko tu yani aina muelekeo ibo. So kulikuwa na mapiti wakakam ni 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 ni. You know they are hurt. They are young. Up high school, I you're like ah. That guy is scared. I'm a, I'm gonna future maybe I'm gonna well like you for my issue, you know. <laughs> and at that time, you know, more attracted to, to the other gender, you know. Yeah. So at this age, you go move and be a like, go and be a another person. Kide to a virgin because nobody believes that there is still virgins. Sai, you know. Uh, for me, I believe. I believe a lot of ladies out there are virgin, even older. At our 30s, and they are virgin. Yeah? 
Yes, because men they don't believe that. So I, I do not me at a sequel and shank and be a water my virgin. To kinda kwa story na made mama my boy kwa class to na bigger stories and nini 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 at a mean patani for dani was after me hit my boyfriend, blah 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 and it was a lie. I had to lie because at us at school when guys your friends nini waki notice you're a virgin, what a kupangia wa kutumanye wa to in some they can rape you nini nini. Yeah, people are evil out there, are very evil. You rather keep it to yourself you don't go spreading that you're a virgin okay yeah so we would tell you to look at a meet maramoja nini yaki jaribu ku touching 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 like no 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 you know <laughs> yes so because i'm scared i don't want to get pregnant you know i don't do any small mistake mimba mimba ni kwa first born even ndivyo ni haribu hawa wengine watu wenye wananifuata and also ndivyo ni me disappoint mamangu and i did not want to do that so one day okay I've told you the kind of the mom I have. So, ukikosi ya tuki dogo, my mom anatoa sira tu na wewe. Yani, then, uh, anarujirudia bade, like, what have I done? So, nilikuwa, kinipata na boys. My mom also, never, uh, like, she never knew that I'm a virgin, maybe, you know. Kuna kind of a parent, watoto wakiguru, na wakumko expose tu kwa inche sana. They just think you are, usha tumika wewe, like, yeah, you know, and, the relationship between me and my mom when I was growing, I kukua nini sana, like ani jui sana, you know, like a mom ani jui sana. We are not that those, we were not those good friends that I share everything to her, nini nini. Remember, I have two sisters behind me and a brother. So, we are girls, we are tattoo. Ata, akuna hiyo sasa bondi ya mama na mtoto msichana kwa ukaribu sana. My mom, sis me as a grown up, nana niona kama, uh, someone who should take care of the siblings. My my growing up has been really bad for me because since I grew up, I'm taught. I never enjoyed myself as a child. Unona, I I grew up as a parent, taking care of my sibling, and before that, to melelo and a house help and a house help. My mom, we will not see my mom until weekend. Na tukimona ni benya meamuka kule breakfast and the job. So, ani, tumekuwa tu. So, when, tukashi, when my dad died, tukashindua mamba kulipara house help nini. I had to take the duty of the house help, you know. Kulu take care my sibling, mama and the kazi nini nini. It was really tough and I hate being a firstborn because of that. Yo, so, nikikosia tu hivi kidogo, my mama na kufungia inje, unalala inje. <laughs> you know, asira za wa mama. I'm very sure it is not my mama. No. I know most of you as as when you pure wako hivo. Ukichelewa kidogo inje, anakufungia na fikiria you are with a man. Ama kikupoto kiongea na boy, nivo na fikiria. Wewe umejimes, nini, nini, wata kumes maisha yako. And some of us, tunajua what we are doing. Like, we are careful, we love ourselves, and we protect ourselves so much. So, si mara moja mambili mimi nimefungia ni kalala inje. <laughs> so, Tukua tunaishi hapa githurai uko ni stage uko kwa soko that area and at unajo there are people who sleep uko kwa vibanda nini nini the men and I'm a little I'm a young girl you know and niko nimeji nimeji take care vizuri so nikifungiwa inje na mamangu I'm like I'm too scared I hope they get nikuwa na kani kena get like ama get him a fungwa mtu wa sikuje ndani anipate ama mtu wa siyone niko inje uh, ikuwe mwishene, nini, nini, and also pia misi ikuwa napenda tuwa ibu wa ibu. No, that day, but <laughs> the, that day yenye alinifungia sasa like it. Mare atatu, I was so scared. I was like, if someone can rape me, I can never forget. It will stick on my mind. I will be traumatized. And because sasa ilifika mali gate, I fungu iteno na kifuli. Anyone na kikuja later na fungua and singe lana kwa yo plot tena hata hapo inji ya mlango and by the way sometimes me and my sister mwenye nafungiwa inji <laughs> tunangota madhia na lala tunafungulia sometimes anafunga na kifulia kenda nafungo ni hivu hakuna mtu wana kufungulia so that time kukwa na mtu wana kufungulia so I decided and I was so mad because it is not good to lock your kids outside mostly girl children sometimes as parents let us control ourselves when we are dealing with 
girl children not like see girl children to even boy children a boy child and or a girl child but a girl child you know ni dangerous mtoto na future yake inaanza kuharibika mapema yani naenda venye yako amepangia so that time mimi nikatoka mimi ni msi hata sina simu sina nini nimenyang'anywa simu saa hizo niko tu peke yangu kwa nje went borrowed i had a sim card i borrowed a friend <laughs> akanipia simu nikaeka sim card uh, my, the number was there nikampigia after kumpigia kaniambia kwa round i go so mimi uyo hui mpaka risambo <laughs> i went there i found him you know now niko kwa too much stress i've been going through a lot being like a mother to my siblings uh, like shule masomo yangu yenye kwa i am not focusing to hiyo mguu hapo delson I'm not focusing at school. Yani things are not okay. They are not going on well at all. And nimeenda huko niko na stress zangu mingi hizo kufungiwa nje. You know I love my mom so much. I don't want her to treat me like this. I was say ya. When you me grow kama mimi mko api. Hebu ni when me kodo ju. When you me grow na parents tough kama wangu. Like like my mom I mean my mom. <laughs> we kafika the guy kwanza unajua is a party person you know anapenda party sana anapenda raha nini nini so akwezi kosa hizo dreams for you actually alikuwa ni ile hata kufungulia nakata kuna kunywa so i've never taken alcohol for me maisha yangu yote until then usivyenye nienda kwake was like i'm sorry i knew i going through a lot blah blah can you comfort me kafin ko comfortable nini nini get out Thank you. Go sit down. Go sit down. I put for you cartoon. I mean, you know, we are going through a lot. Blah 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 blah. Yes, nika feel ko comfortable nini nini. But kuna kitu alikosea. Me, I feel like I take advantage of me. So after hapo akaniambia take this, it will help you. And I was like, me, anything that will make me feel better. Okay, let me let me let me let me let me let me just stress myself mara moja cuz I'm already I'm I'm already feeling like my life i comes you ready ni kama imesimama like i will not be able to achieve the things i want and i'll not be able to remain at my mom's house until a man comes and take me from my mom's house to the right, my mom's house the right way alipe dawari akanyangiwe kini nini nini anitoe nikiwa decent person nikiwa clean person nikiwa virgin person and now my mom was making it very impossible for me to to achieve that because i wanted to come out of my mom's house with honor you know and it makes so proud but yo kufungiwa inje made it very impossible when i went there nikapewa alcohol the first time i'm a lightweight you can beba nikalia sasa vizuri nikatoa stress zangu za vizuri and i'm a person who don't like talking about my my life my problems to people at hapa sijui leo ni venye maybe i've healed from those things akitambo and i've already moved on with with another things and i also don't want to my kids to go through such things from my growing up i've learned a lot so hakuna pombe akika music nikaanza ku feel you know pombe okay you know pombe kwanza mtu wewe si wa pombe you know what it does to you yani kakuwa very weak vulnerable and the guy did not like nilikuwa nimemwambia anga like ama vaji but maybe akafikiri it was a joke before that's why i never had anything to do with sexual anything sexually to do with him and he come and he will wait for me until I maliza shule nini nini but that day you know i was in form 3 now now that day after the alcohol nini 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 was very understanding i don't know i didn't understand him because he wanted to get something from me or what and ayo mapenzi naanza ku feel now somebody loves me somebody cares about me nini nini we kachipata tukachipata you know tukachipata and <clears throat> it was very painful because i was already grown you know it was very painful very very the more you naka virgin the more task of chungu it was very very painful i almost stabbed him na kisu <laughs> and the moment i lay on the blood he was shocked alis to karibu at a faint was like you did not tell me and i was like 
I did not tell you even to do it. Like only ni umeni. I felt like Nikki Kata and Nikki keep on refusing at a at a boy me maybe and you took a paint and you dabak bila place ya kuka, you know. You know I love the situation I was to give in. I was not supposed to give in, but I gave in because ata mi mwenyewe na unana nipea ni ana nielewa ni amenielewa that time ni amenipea help ya kuka na yeye hapo until i get better i was scared that i to pay inje niki nikikata pia and now this was the end of me of keeping my virginity and it was very painful losing my virginity i never wanted to that like Yo kitu imekuwa like uh, akili yangu ija set like i do it the wrong way i never wanted to do it that way i wanted to lose my virginity to my husband and uh, uh, guys it hurt so much <laughs> but anyway it's life to share pita huko uh, after all uh, i stopped being i stopped being too careful i stopped care, caring too much like kuna something changed in me because something special has gone out of me and something changed i became different a different person and i became kind of bitter i became kind of careless you know <laughs> and yeah it's like my world fell apart and that is how i lost my virginity yeah kind of a sad story yeah and a long one anyway guys yeah so you guys me naweza waambia mwenye mnalea kama mimi sai just be care, be careful be careful as parent like take good care of your girl child of your boy child you know don't let temper control you like sometimes ukisikia siri nipanda just go cool calm down then you can talk to your kid remember your actions will determine what your kids will be in future you are the first teacher to these kids whatever you teach them is what they they take and that's what they grow with so guys out there when you are a be very careful make sure you are, you, are, you create that bond between you and your child be fre- a friend to your child don't be an enemy don't be this ash parent mwenye mtoto anaogopa hizi kushia anything na wewe hizi kuambia kitu chochote eh hata akakuwa ameumia na uko nje don't be a parent mwenye hata mtoto wako akirepiwa anaogopa kukuambia because you will side with the man mwenye amemrape like those kind of things okay let us not allow our kids to to wakikuwa adults wakuwe wame wameka hizi childhood trauma zenye wanapitia ati mpaka zinaanza ku affect in future in their marriage in their relationships in in their work in their lives okay yes so guys that's all for today see you next time on my next video and i'm saying bye that's all acha kunyosha biombo get out of my kitchen allah allah jameni ah ah Anyway, see you guys. <laughs>